There he is, Steven Prosser, one of, if not the most loyal viewer of ours, always, ah, uh, Courtney Bowman, Courtney Bowman, all right, let's see, what are we doing here, hello, what's going on, what is that, oh, it's paper, it's in the frame, no, it's still in the frame, there we go, all right, hey guys, how's it going, um, we, oh, Ace, Ace is here, oh, wow, Ace, haven't seen you in a while. He's got the uh, the goodie reader, audiobook reader, um, little emoji thing in his name. That's cool. Hey, hello guys. We got the X6 here, and uh, as all you guys know, we did do the X6 last time or last last time, and it will be hidden forever under private on our channel, and we will never show anyone ever because that was terrible. It works now. It actually works. <coughs> It was a total... Oh, I resent my email. Oh, you did? Okay, I didn't get anything. I'll have to scan my junk and... Um, uh, you wouldn't be under junk. I don't know. I'll check it out. Yeah, hello, guys. Hello. Uh, X6 in the house. And this time, we'll leave it up for the future generations to see. This is a very big unit. And if you put it up against something like a smartphone, <laughs> you'll see just absolutely how enormously ginormous it is this is a 13.3 ace i'm doing really well last week was awful um it's just a uh, uh, uh seasonal allergies is a combination of like always having to sneeze not able to sneeze and like the very center of your head is itchy like the very center the just the, in the middle and you're just like you try to you're just you know and just, <laughs> there's no way to scratch that to itch that scratch wait no to scratch that itch there's absolutely no way so um, oh yeah, as always, uh, I raided the, uh, receiving, and today I only found one thing in receiving. It was a DHL slip box thing, but we will, uh, open it up for you guys all the same. Let's do a, uh, top down here with the computer keyboard out of the way. See what we got here. Uh, yeah, it just came in. I don't know. I, I grabbed stuff from receiving. Let's see what we got. Do, 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 do. Oh, we have Marcos Alice from Brazil. I think it's actually said with an S, right? It's not Brazil like we say. Oh, we got a sample. Okay, there's nothing in the box. Uh, okay. Um, well, we're not going to do an unboxing of this, but uh, that's interesting. And it is e-paper. Yeah, e-ink screen. Oh, cool. Well, okay, see, this is what I'm talking about when we get stuff. Like, a lot. Of, like, to be completely honest, a lot of the time... It just looks like this. It's some random uh, mailer, and we just we get things. And this, we'll, we'll do a video on it, I guess. I mean, I can't even email the cus. I guess I could email the company. It says Shenzhen Hu My Technology, and they have a website. So, um, all right, I guess you'll be seeing this in the future. This is the Digi Ten. It's a mixed hygrometer thermometer. Um, uh, doesn't look like there's a clock on it either. All right, well that's coming up. Uh, thank you. Humai Shenzhen Technology for this amazing sample. I'm being half serious and half joking. It is very, we're very grateful when we get things um, for free and we do reviews. That's obviously great. Um, you know, next time put a little slip because usually what happens, uh, I think I told you guys, for example, like when Fujitsu sends us stuff, they're like, they send us this thing. It's like a Quaderno, Fujitsu Quaderno, um, like little mailer. It's got uh, sorry, vinyl envelope, and it has stuff inside. It says, hey, goody reader, thank you for your continued support, blah, blah, blah. Here are the talking points. Here's things we want you to mention, all that kind of fun stuff. But, um, yeah, we just get these, like, random things from companies all over the world that they just send us stuff, and uh, I I guess, you know, we'll, we'll do our best to communicate with them. But, uh, yeah. Oh, well, we got Ace of Base has given some, uh, some tips here. One teaspoon acv you already lost me i have no idea what that is advil no i do i don't know uh quarter warm quarter water quart oh quarter wait quarter what quarter cup or quarter teaspoon because that'd be really small pinch of baking soda drop it in your nose so that you spit it out oh my lord I guess that sounds frightening. <laughs> All that stuff just like that. Oh man, I don't know. All right, we got enough people here. Let's talk about this. Uh, yeah, I just got a couple missed calls from some people, but we will wait until later. Big me time, er, buddy. Branamir says nice background. Yeah, it's a nice like 
charcoal thing. That's pretty nice. Uh, where's the pen? Ah, there it is. No hiccups today, everybody. This is a very large device. It is a 13.3. It's very large. Doesn't fit well on camera. Oh, apple cider vinegar. Oh, ACV apple cider vinegar. My mom always talks about that stuff, and she's here right now. She always says apple cider vinegar for this, that, and the other thing. And yeah, they it's um, uh, they drink it in Japan as well. They sell it like in 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 the drink section to the point where it's like you have Fanta, Mountain Dew, and apple cider vinegar slash like um it's like a vinegar drink and you just down it and it's it's pretty crazy uh yeah ace sorry well you started with one teaspoon and then you moved over to a quarter and it's like well you didn't give me a unit of measure like i don't know <laughs> yeah okay let's look at this so that says good that says hello and that says Peter. And what we can do with this is we can go to more and we can go transfer text. Not only does it automatically translate and transcribe what you've written on this page, it goes through the entire unit. Oh my gosh, another focus problem. Come on, man. It goes through the entire unit and does every single page. You see that? It went through every page and it automatically saw what you wrote down there and it just throws it up there. And that's really cool. And why that's cool is because you don't have to go to the next page and then, you know, click the top and then transcribe text and transfer text and all that kind of stuff. It's completely device wide, which is very useful, extremely useful. If you guys don't know Big Me by now, seriously, head over to the channel. These guys are killing it. Again, we have to say we're not sponsored by them. They don't pay us for this at all. We simply have distribution agreement, which means we have the rights to sell their products. These guys have a lot of things, and it's mainly broken down into three categories. They have the B1 body, the Carve body, and then other. The Carve has two devices, the Carve and the Carve color. And the this is... I'll, did I, I think I, what happened? <laughs> Did I touch something? Yeah. Uh, they have the carve and the carve color like that. And um, what these guys are is this one's a color. Whoa. What is happening? Every time we do a video on, on the X6 for some reason, like legitimately, man, it's always the X6. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to do range erase, so I'll go like that. There we go. Erase all that. Well, nothing's perfect. I mean, remember, guys, the, uh, what do you call, um, the Amazon devices couldn't even run PDFs early on. So, you know, give things some break, give, give things a break. So we have the carve and the carve color. This one's color screen like that and the b1 has actually six units but we're not going to go over that because there's too many and th this one has two units there's a seven inch called the pocket and then there is a 13 like that 13.3 inch and this one's the one in question today the x6 and this is this is a huge one so they basically have everything from seven inches all the way down to 13.3 so they they have everything in their lineup it's a uh, it's a very very nice device. It has a very low latency, which means it writes very quickly. And you can actually go to here and choose different modes. You have speed mode, HD mode, and normal mode. You'll notice all the staining in the background. There is a lot of staining, and that doesn't matter if you're using a high sense phone. Doesn't matter if you're using um, an Onyx device. They're going to be the exact same thing because the screens all come from the same place. So you have to do different things, like maybe go to an HD mode, maybe you know, force a refresh. And then once you do those things like that, all the staining is gone. So that's just the inherent problem with e-ink right now. And it will never get better. <laughs> that's just something we're just guaranteed. E-ink's been around for decades. It, it just doesn't look like it ever can get better based on the technology. And, you know, it's a trade-off because right now, this, th this device, let's draw some batteries. How do I do that? They're different sizes. This is like a, a D battery. It's a C battery. This device doesn't use any power right now. It's using power now. It's using power now. It doesn't use any power. The second you finish drawing something on an e-ink screen, it no longer consumes power. Granted, 
if you have uh, Wi-Fi on, that's going to use power, of course. If you have Bluetooth, how do you draw Bluetooth? Uh, it's like, oh, I forget. It's like, it's like, it's like that or something. Anyways, Bluetooth is going to use batteries, of course. And you know what? This actually has 4G. It does, and it works in select uh, markets. It works in uh, China, Hong Kong, Macau. So, um, yeah, all those other things, if you have them on, they're all going to use battery. But if you turn each of them off, you're no longer going to consume any battery. That's just what e-ink does. That's the beauty of e-ink. That's why e-ink is everywhere. That's why it's on, uh, you know, 40-inch billboards and, uh, you know, like 60-inch um, uh, event hall calendars and schedules because it doesn't use any power and it looks fantastic and when you reflect light into an lcd led like that you'll see that you just you don't get the same thing on ink look at that it's completely diffused because that's the beauty of a matte screen a, a matte experience like that with this unit you can do a bunch of things you have a diff you have a bunch of different pens and pencils you also have shapes shapes is really cool because you can instantly make geometric shapes and make a rectangle pops a rectangle on the screen like that i can move it around i can stretch it and i can make it bigger smaller and then you tap out of it and there's your rectangle and then from there you can make all your edits and say oh i want this to be 3d and there you go 3d rectangle it's the best rectangle you're going to see today see that look at that box of cookies glass of milk boom oh man now i'm hungry uh acv is a miracle of nature <coughs> yeah it does look really nice excuse me we used to give people ap apple cider vinegar to cattle i can't remember why man everyone's talking about it's apple cider vinegar now ace geez i guess we'll just talk about apple cider vinegar now all right let's talk about it let's just list the benefits no i honestly don't know uh, i know it's good for you i know it's um beneficial to a human and apparently cattle so you have some other things here. You can go templates. Templates are very nice. You can install your own templates or you can use the, uh, I think there's 25, 26 odd templates here. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm still uh, coughing and sneezing and itching from uh, all the, um, what do you call, uh, allergies, but uh, I'll be better. Uh, yeah, you can do uh, Cornell notes, schedules, um, vertical bar uh, screen, i think there's even like some screenplay and music that's that was a big one actually this was one that a customer and a viewer sorry wanted us to show uh music score look at that you can make your sonata here all day long let's do a treble clef oh man um there you go it's good enough um yeah, this is really nice because now you can like edit all your music. And the beauty about this, I know that's something. I used to take piano. I don't remember what it is anymore. Uh, the beauty about this is that right after you're done, you can share. You can share via QR code. You can share via another app. You can send to your device storage. You can send via email. You can send via Facebook Messenger if you want because you can sideload apps onto this. And yes, it's completely sideloadable with apps. We already put Space Desk, Space Desk for screen share and WPS Office. So there's there's many things you can do on this outside of just um, the 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 stock apps. And you don't have to be scared if you see something you don't like, like this Chinese door. You can simply long press it and uninstall it. I'll show you. Right there, it says uninstall. So all the bloatware, all the things that are there. No, mom, that's fine. Apple cider vinegar is is very important. And I would rather talk about things that are good for the human body than an e-reader. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> it's totally cool. Don't worry. Yeah, so any of the bloatware you see here, like this WeChat um, integration, you don't need to use it. You can long press it and you can uninstall it. Nothing here is going to be locked into the point that um, you, you can't uninstall something. Ah, yeah, good one. We are going to have a test at the end of this. <coughs> Pardon me. No, it's all good. Um, yeah, they have an app store too. Now, granted, it's not the greatest app store. And they only have, I think, like 50-something apps, maybe 80. Oh, well, actually, I think they have less. Uh, they're probably seven per category, 30-odd 30, 30 apps. They're all Chinese. Just don't, don't, don't use it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying that negatively, but like, I, no one can read that. Unless you read and speak Chinese, which is great, but that literally just says like China, colors, uh, good money, 
use like I, I can't even make heads or tails of that so for the most part for the people that are watching this video English speaking audience this app store is not going to be useful to you because it doesn't have anything of substance this is mainly for the Chinese market these guys are completely open to collaborating with the entire world. Big Me is very, very internationally friendly, which is why they now have English on it, which is why they have a browser with a package installer. What a package installer is, let's go back to the notes, actually. You don't need to see the browser right now, unless you guys ask. Uh, JM Labs, hello, what's up? Uh, thank you for stopping by. Very, very much appreciated. Seriously. Oh, I got to show you that later. That's so silly. Legitimately. So what a package installer is, is a lot of devices need, uh, I don't remember the exact thing, but I'll, uh, the exact thing, but I'll just type Google framework. What that means is you need G apps, you need Google play, you need Google with the little, the gear, you need the Google, uh, uh, framework to, in order to use anything to download Amazon to download uh, Outlook to download Google Drive this one you don't you don't need that because it has the x6 x6 it has a package installer which means I keep touching it might be that floating ball or something that's that's killing my thing which means you can actually sideload in apps to this so if you see here we can go to our local storage We've sideloaded in a bunch of stuff, PDFs, um, EPUBs, etc. If you sideload in an APK, it'll be right here. You click on it and it installs. So if I put Amazon on here, if I put Barnes & Noble, if I put Kobo, I can now uh, utilize that on this. Directly on this by installing from the unit. I don't have to use Google. I don't have to use One Mobile or anything like that. So that's the beauty about this. JA, does it actually uninstall or disable? It actually uninstalls it. And you know what? I'll show you this right now, JA, because I don't care what this is. This is WeChat. I know it's WeChat. And you click on install. And then, no, it's not app info disable. It actually goes away. It's uninstalled and it's gone. You can't get it back. You have to go to the browser, download WeChat.apk from APK Mirror or something like that. So it's gone forever. Uh, Brandemir, what is the best budget e-reader? Uh, the best, but that's a, that's a huge question. What do you want? You know, do you want a, a 4.7 inch or a dual screen 13.3, 26 inch music bonanza? So, and, and, and within that timeline, there's color, there's audio, there's glow lights, there's no glow light, there's note taking, there's no note taking, there's capacitive pen note taking, there's Wacom pen note taking. The question I would love to answer for you, you need to narrow it down for us because there's... This isn't an e-reader. What we're, what we're looking at today is a note-taking Wacom tablet slate that just so happens to be using an e-paper screen. There's nothing e-reader about this unit. It's got dual speakers. It's got dual microphones. It's got uh, 4G on board. There's nothing e-reader about it. So, like, yeah, you definitely need to craft your question more to, like, I just want to read. Or like, I want to read, but occasionally use Google Drive or occasionally check my email via Outlook. So there's like a lot of questions there. You know what I mean? Uh, Duogo, secondary monitor functionality. Yes, you can. Um, you can use things like Space Desk. And what you do with Space Desk is you go on here and you can download. Oh, do I have it here? Let's see. Do I have it on my phone? Uh, do, 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 do. I do not. But. I believe we may have showed it in the review. Um, what you do is you... Oh, my son put some Mario stickers on my phone. He's like, Daddy, look, I did for you. I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. Uh, yeah, so um, what you do is you get Space Desk Viewer, and you can put it on your phone. You can put it on your PC, and all you would do is scan for the primary machine, the secondary machine. It cannot detect primary machine because I don't have Space Desk installed right now. Um, and you can... Transfer to and from, just like uh, uh, Quirk Logic does, just like Remarkable does, kind of like live view. So yeah, you absolutely can uh, use it as a secondary monitor. Um, who asked that? Uh, Brand, not Brandemir. Duogo. Yeah. Stephen Prosser, I believe Pocketbook had one called the Lux. Have to double check. Yes, you're you're correct. The basic Lux three is under a hundred bones. So yeah, that one's pretty good. Uh, for best, I'd highly recommend the Books Leaf. That you're on the ball, yeah. Um, the Books Leaf is great. It's an e-reader with all the e-reader bells and whistles, but it also has um, Google Play on board. It's really good, and it has an optional uh, case that has physical page turn buttons on it. Really cool. 
JA, thank you for the clarification. No problem, Brandomir. Yeah, Kindle Basic is my first e-reader. I need an upgrade now. Oh, so you're like an e-reader, e-reader. Okay. Um... Yeah, you know what? Uh, Steven said it right, Brandon Amir. I would say the um, the Leaf is good. If you want something that has a note-taking capability, the MeBook. MeBook is very price efficient. Um, it's very, it's well-priced. And it has Google Play. Uh, all those ones that we just talked about have Google Play, so that's good. Um, you know what? Uh, Big Me has some good... I have to touch... Oh, I have to... Okay, that didn't touch with them. Oh, look at that! Landscape! Oh, that might actually look better on camera yeah it does oh sweet uh the um big me has a, a pocket note 7 they have a 7 inch and it comes with a capacitance capa not capacitive pen a capacitance capacitance pen yeah it's the same thing but they have that too and that's a very good um a good e-reader oh get it uh, ja plus one for the leaf holy moly everyone loves the leaf the leaf is really good by onyx it's fantastic. It has like a little side ledger thing. Everyone does. <coughs> Pardon me. It's seven inch. No note taking. No note taking on it. But it does have Google Play. Uh, what's the Google Play? Okay, that's YouTube. And it does have YouTube. Oh, that's the play button the other side. What's the Google Play logo? Can't remember it. Oh, it's a triangle with a... It's a circle with a triangle and it's got the different colors like that yeah um yeah so uh, the onyx is great uh big me does not for some reason i don't know why yet but you know they're still up and coming in the international crowd at least currently big me across everything they make from seven inch all the way up to 13.3 they do not have google play right now there's only three companies with google play and that is onyx I mean, boy you, I guess, but they don't really make devices anymore, but they still exist. It's it's really um me book and Dasung. No other devices have Google Play, not one officially. Uh what is that e-ink phone question mark? Oh, uh, Brandon Amir, you're talking about my Xperia uh, uh 1 Mark 3? Yeah, we did a um uh, I got a, that's my personal phone, and I did a little unbox. I went rogue, and I did an unboxing video. If you want to see it, it's on our channel. It's a nice phone. No, it's not e-ink. Um, I don't use an e-ink phone. I'm not going to lie and say, oh, everything I do is e-ink. That's not true. Um, I love e-ink. Obviously, it's my bread and butter. But as you can see, my desk computer monitors are not e-ink because I don't use e-ink computer monitors. They're great, but there's a time and a place. There's <laughs> definitely a time and a place. Um, so we got here Duogo. Think about upgrading for the Remarkable Two for the functionality under seven hundred fifty dollars. Recommendation Google Play support. Another minute. Upgrading from Remarkable Two for more functionality. Well, Remarkable Two has no functionality. So if you were to go into the woods and grab some tree bark and a stick, you'd have more functionality than Remarkable Two. I'm not bashing Remarkable, but it's true. Not the tree bark part, but. Anything you get is going to be better than Remarkable 2. And what I mean by that is objectively better. Not your own opinion. Just like on paper specs, you're going to have glow light. You're going to have uh, the ability for apps. You're going to have audio. You're going to have just so many more things. Uh, microphones on anything else but Remarkable. Devices like Remarkable and Supernote, they're they're already a thing of the past. They're, they're really just a dying breed of units and you may you know disagree and say oh xperia gang sweet ja that's awesome uh you may disagree and say no remarkable 2 is great and they have a good advertising campaign and they're they're really um you know they're, they're really distraction free you are right they are great they do have a great advertising campaign and they are super distraction free they also have a very large name influential name in the industry doesn't mean they're good because they're not any Onyx is going to be to Remarkable and be the exact same but better in every conceivable way. They, they feel the same. The price, you have options to make it the same price, if not cheaper. They have uh, better compatibility, better functionality. And if you don't want the, the distractions, don't use them. You don't have to say, oh man, I'm going to go to X mode and watch my YouTube video split screen with my glow light on. You can't do any of that on the Remarkable. You don't have to do it on the Onyx, but you can. And that's the thing. I say it every episode because everyone always asks me. It's better to have it and not eat, need it than to need it and not have it. Ace of Base, 
in a way, I am and I'm not. I am bashing Remarkable, but it's complete truth. I'm not going to put them on a pedestal just because they have 8K advertisement videos on YouTube. That's not fair. And we're completely fair because we have over 31 distributors we work with and partners. We're partnered with Barnes & Noble. I'm not saying Barnes & Noble is the absolute best. That's not what I'm saying. We're completely objective in our industry and we operate in five different countries. So we have to be legitimate. If you have a Remarkable and you say, and, and, and this guy next to you has an error and you're on your Remarkable, like, do, 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 I'm going to take notes. And John's like, oh, I'm going to take notes too. And you're like, huh, oh, that's, that's about all I can do. What about you? And he's like, oh, I'm going to go on Google Drive. And oh, it's getting dark out. Turn on my glow light. Oh, man, I, I have a voice clip that came in from Facebook Messenger. Boop. Oh, I can hear it. The guy in Remarkable is like, well, well, damn, I can't do any of that. And I didn't even get a pen when I bought mine. I had to buy it separately. And this is all true, guys. It really is. Same with Supernote a lot of people have been kind of questioning Supernote lately and we have a lot of the info in our brains that we can share with you. Supernote is operating still on 2018 technology that has basically an unstable operating system and their d devices aren't even available anymore because there are hundreds of devices deep in delays and then when they finally get it there's no audio there's you know expensive peripheral cases expensive pens and no glow light and it's just it's things like that that we want to shy people away from. Not to any discredit to the companies, but people are always asking us, hey, what's a great e-reader? I can't really say Remarkable anymore. We used to, but we can't anymore. Because anyone, and up-and-comer device manufacturers like Big Me, they come out with 14 devices, each one of them better than a lot of things in the industry. So when we take a step back from like, everything that we review and we cover and stuff we have to we definitely have to point people in the right direction we can't say oh yeah super notes great it's like four years old i don't want to say that none of us at goody reader want to say that we want to say the air we want to say me book for pocket friendly note taking we want to say big me pocket seven if you're looking for something even smaller we maybe say freeno or uh, the king jim freeno or the moby scribe origin for 6.8 inch note taking so there's so many other devices that are significantly better than these dying breed of distraction-free units. It just doesn't play out anymore. There is a time, there is a time where those were absolute top recommendations because they were at the time. It's like this most recent thing. Did you guys see our channel about the Y-Ben? The Y-Ben is this absolutely bare bones, retro Game Boy color looking thing. And it's like, it's simple. But it's too simple. It doesn't even have an operating system. It's running a microprocessor uh, placeholder operating system. And people are like, it's too simple. You know what I mean? And it's, and it's like, at one point, 2013, that the simplicity, that level of simplicity, we had a place for that. But 2020, you know, 2022, sorry, you have devices like Amazon, this wireless charging. And everyone's like, oh, I don't need that. Okay, yeah, it's kind of cool. And then you have all these other guys, like Big Me has quad microphones on there for di dictation. And everyone's like, oh, who needs that? Oh, yeah, okay. So you start to see that people want these fully loaded devices to keep up with what we're used to. The, the cell phone, the instant gratification of being able to do something and go on Google Play and have a multi-service device. And then you <laughs> Gabe Arroyo just said, is that the 128 megabyte one? It is. It's the 128 megabytes of RAM, four gigs of storage, 1.9 usable, basic device where you click a button and the guy down the block is like, what the heck is that clicking noise? It's true. I, it's, a, it's a good e-reader, just above the line of being, you know, zero. It's good, but it's too simple. And that's where I'm going with, with this long rant, I apologize about remarkable remarkable now that they charge you monthly to even use the device and not give you a pen at time of purchase it, it can't be a recommendation anymore it just can't i'm sorry but it's true gabe arroyo with the 199 oh man thank you very much we don't do this for um uh, what do you call uh, donations at all? We don't need to do that. We just do this to give back and utilize our knowledge and utilize what we have in our hands here to show you guys things and give you guys a live showcase on things. So that's very much appreciated. I, I very much uh, thank you very much. Yes, seriously. Uh, Gabe, we meant every word of it. Uh, we, we, we did the review. We we're sitting around the table with the Y Ben and we were like looking at each other. We're like, this is, 
how, how are we going to spin this in an honest way? And to be honest, it did do e-reading very well. It has a very uh, high density screen and it's a small screen and it works <laughs> still better than the remarkable. No, man, come on. Oh, uh, that's a good one. Um, yeah, the Y Ben, uh, it almost made the live showcase today. You guys almost wanted it. Um, it, it, it definitely has a good e-reading experience. You could hold it in one hand, completely easy on your eyes, sunken screen and bezel. There's not even a digitizer for touch. So the text actually looks really, really good. Other than one-handed pocket waiting for a bus e-reading, there's nothing that device has to offer. There's no audio, there's no glow light, there's no touch screen, there's no, it's a micro USB, there's nothing. The e-reading is good. PDFs are impossible to use. There's two games that I don't even, I didn't even heard of one of them. And they're just, it was, it was a weird unit to see in 2022. I don't know why that came out now. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, what about the, sorry about that long speech <laughs> rant, I should say. Steven, oh yeah. Uh, thank you, Steven. Yes. It's, uh, it's all true. What we're saying is just completely true. You know, we, we're not going to, I don't, I, I couldn't, I couldn't recommend something bad to people. That doesn't make any sense. There's enough good things out there and, and device manufacturers like Big Me that has 14 devices in their lineup. Onyx has nine. Pocketbook has, oh, eight. Uh, Me Book has one coming out soon. I mean, there's, there's just so much good out there. We don't need to say the bad anymore. We don't need to say Get Remarkable because you shouldn't. You shouldn't pay monthly on your credit card to use something something else does for free. What about a doctor bound by HIPAA, for example? What about for a doctor bound by HIPAA? Is that some sort of like standardized certification thing? You can't use Remarkable transcriptions to process an external server. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, with, I mean, Duogo, security concerns with books? Sure. There's, concern, there's security concerns with everybody. Everything, you know, if you don't want security issues you know uh, get a dpt so that's on that's honest too if you are worried about security there are two units that you can get to be a hundred percent secure and that is the dpt and the fujitsu line and why that is is because they are absolutely localized to the point where some you can even utilize um you can assign pass cards let me get a card for example just some random card here's a sim card from fido you can actually assign NFC cards that the only way to even turn on the device is to use the NFC chip at the top and go beep beep from your little, you know, your little lapel thing. You go like zzz, and you beep and then it turns on. Those are the only two devices that will have maximum security and why they even were invented in the first place is for law, law students and uh, law firms and um, educational institutions and stuff like that. That's why the DPT was even invented. Um, by the way, I'm just rambling on here because you guys aren't asking about the big me, which is totally fine. As I say every every live, it's you don't have to. It's, this is great. Um, yeah, so, oh, hello, Hattori Hanzo. What's going on? Is the Kindle dead? It's been a while now, no? Uh, I'll get that one sec. But yeah, if you guys want the uh, security, maximum security, not a lot of people know this, but the DPT, CP1 or RP1, the 10.3 um, the and the 13.3, uh, or Fujitsu, I, they're, they're secure we have sold boxes of like 40 of them to firms in like you know san antonio texas and stuff like that because they're they're secure and they're that's that's what it is um is the kindle dead no man kindle kindle will never die uh hattori kindle's never gonna die i sorry i've been talking for like 30 minutes straight if i hit some tea sponsored by this tea no ah that's good so no, Kindle's not dead. Kindle's never going to die. Never. They can't die. Even if they make something someone else has already done and do it later than that person, they're still going to be successful. They're still going to live on. They made the Oasis 2 in 2017. Two years later, they made the Oasis 3, which is just the Oasis 2 with a coat of paint and a warm light, in 2019. And to, that, to this day, it's still being sold. People buying it. You're never gonna, you're never gonna stop with Kindle ever. So Master Zero. I know this off topic, but do you think there'll be any significant developments with the Ink smartphones? Nothing's off topic here. Uh, in the next few years, yes. Um, 
I'm not sure if you have uh, seen our channel, but the A7CC is like the crowning achievement of e-ink smartphones. Hisense is... Hold on, let me choose my words wisely here. Yeah, no, it's true. Hisense make the best e-ink smartphones. They have the biggest lineup. They have the biggest variety. They have two co three color units, A5C, A5CC, and the A7CC. Three color units. They have a hi-fi music player and they have a high reader which is an, a 6.7 inch um e-reader it looks like a phone and they've made this new museum high high sense touch uh ah a13 joe hola como estas donde es muy burrito muy burrito yeah that's probably right muy mon no mon is french i don't know yeah uh no man um high sense is great Hisense even has the A6L 128 gig or 64 in which you have a phone on the front and an e-ink phone on the back. That's kind of cool, man. I mean, they're they're the only guys killing it in smartphones. So I would say that's some major uh, improvements in the world of um, uh, e-ink smartphones. You know, we got a big me here, guys. Looking at chat. None of you guys are saying anything. It's all good. We have reviews on this. It's It's great. It's really really good is it the greatest thing ever no is it a fantastic 13.3 yes and it's the this is one of the best built 13.3s i must say it's great fantastically built really well done they build everything in-house they actually white label to other companies like bokeen and pine note yeah this is really nice really really like solid you know it's not too light like a fujitsu I like the Fujitsu, but it's really light. Too light. You can hold it with the very tip of a Fujitsu. You can't on this. It's a well-built, solid unit. I like it. It's really nice. Seriously. Um. Yeah, it's the highest spec, too. I was thinking about it. Yeah, it's the highest spec currently. 13.3. I think the Lumi has the same amount of specs, but if you count the fact that this, like collectively, it's the highest. So if you count the fact that this has, you know, global handwriting, it has um, uh, two microphones on it, uh, it's got uh, more LEDs, I think, 36 LEDs versus 28, potentially, I can't remember. It's got, it's got a lot of, um, it's got a lot of power. Do they have an e-ink TV? Well, Hattori, life's what you make it. If you watch YouTube on your phone only, and you never watch actual television service, and you, you know what? Yeah, sure. For example, if you buy the Onyx Mira Pro or the 25 inch Mira, the Onyx Books Mira is 13.3, the Onyx Books Mira Pro. If you buy the Onyx Books Mira or Mira Pro, put it on your TV stand, entertainment unit, get an Amazon TV Cube or something. Hook it up via HDMI and watch it while you are sitting on the couch, occasionally checking your phone and going, Hoo, even though TV's running. Then for all intents and purposes, yes. Yes. A TV. What is a TV? It's just a screen. It's just a dedicated screen for showing media. So, yeah, there are e-ink TVs. Sure. It doesn't have to be, you know, a Samsung 70-inch e-ink TV, but... Yeah, there's 25-inch panels you can buy right now that will function 100% as a TV would. Yes. Uh, Taylor Atkinson. Oh, never seen your name here before. Hello. What are the note sync options on the Big Me? A Big Me question. We're all out of time. Bye. No, we got uh, some time here. Thank you, Taylor. You get 10 points. How can I give people points? I can't. All right, what do we got here? So not talked about this in a while. What am I doing? Note sync options. Uh oh, Dropbox and stuff. Okay, yeah. What do we got? Well, you got export file. And then once you do, you can do single page PDF or all pages PDF. And then once you do, you export it. Okay, and then you can view it or just confirm it. So now I have a whole PDF on my system here. And then I can go to here and download OneDrive, Google Drive, uh, Dropbox, whatever the hell you want. And then you can do it that way. I hope that answers it. 
Uh, it's so funny, no one wants to talk about this, and though you don't like it, we can't stop talking about Remarkable 2. Remarkable, I, I'm, I won't say any more about what I just said, but Remarkable was one of the most influential brands, and they made a huge impact, and people will always remember the name. That's what I'll say. And you are right, Ace. It's true. And uh, they'll always be known now, for this recent generation, in the new era, of being basically the first unit to charge your credit card monthly to do things everyone else can do. And that's what they're going to be known for. And that's sad because it's sad to see them go. And I can tell you from, um, we operate a tech company, of course, but we also have a e-commerce store and we're partnered with other, other e-commerce stores. And in terms of remarkable sales, since connect came out, the big old goose egg, um, sales have, stopped that, that's it they've, they've stopped you know we we used to um uh i won't get into specifics but we we dealt with remarkable for and we still do but we dealt with remarkable for years uh geez i can't remember ever since they came out with the one 2017 yeah 16 something like that and um yeah you know we obviously uh it it, it, it aided our e-commerce site and i don't do much of the store anymore but uh yeah we we have a division that we sell things through and uh since connect it's almost like a light switch someone's like oh the sales button or oh, the sales switch oh right now it's on i'm just gonna click oh now it's off <laughs> and they go out and they buy a sandwich that's they're just gone absolutely gone uh taylor Atkinson, atkinson cool thanks yep <coughs> pardon me uh yeah i hope that answered your question this does have uh, android on it of course i think i mentioned but if you guys are joining now it also has the ability to <laughs> Rebecca G, how to kill your own company 101. I'll say one more thing about Remarkable in a second. Not in a bad way. Um, what do you call it? It also has apps. You can sideload in apps. You you can uh, you can go to your computer and just sideload in APKs. Or you can go to the browser and just download APKs. You can go to Google and type in um, Facebook Messenger dot APK. It's a free app, right? You can download it right on the device. Uh, yeah, Rebecca... Um, Remarkable posted a lot of things about like investors and stocks and, and, and um, uh, shares and dividends and stuff. This move was like strategically a great move to charge people monthly, right? And it's like, oh, we needed to shake things up. Great. Oh, our investors did this, that, and the other thing. We had a big influx from this uh, holding company in Sweden. It's like, that's awesome. But when it all trickles down into a packaged consumer level product right here, that's when it stops. That's when the amazingness stops. All your investor stuff and your dividends and stuff like that and how you look on paper is really good. And I'm happy for them. We really are. We want to see everyone succeed. That was a great move for them. But in the eyes of the consumer that buys packaged consumer electronics, my, like myself, I bought a smartphone a couple months ago, it's, it was the worst possible thing they ever could have done. And it's killed them. It's true. I'm sorry, but it's absolutely true. And it, and why I say that? I say that I don't say that happily. That doesn't benefit us at all. I would love to continue working with Markable, Remarkable. We would love to sell them, but it's just gone. I see the Chinese writing. Writing. The ones I'm ordering from you is all English, or will it have Chinese writing like the one you have? The uh, no, no. The Big Me. Big Me is a Chinese company everyone's a chinese company me books a chinese company uh, onyx is chinese company uh and every and things that aren't chinese companies are made in china no there is no chinese device an english device that's just the menu language you can you can choose whatever language you want out of these three so far they're gonna add more they say and you don't if you download you know a farsi app uh you know an uh, an aramaic app a, um, you know, a, a Swahili app, and then all your content is going to be Tagalog or, you know, Filipino or something like that, then you just make it yourself. You make this, de the device is what you make it. That, that, right now, what you just see, all these things, that's just the menu language. The device will never block you out of any language content, ever. If all of your apps are like Spanish Christian apps from top to bottom, you can use it. It's absolutely free, yeah. Uh, this will not be a Chinese device. iFlyTech is probably who we want to really want to work with, but they just refuse to work with anyone is probably the only guys on the market. 
aside from maybe that WeChat phone, where you can't even use the device without a mainland Chinese phone number, iFlyTech. Everyone else is simply like their headquarters are in China. Like this guy right here. These guys, we just, they sent us this today. These guys, oh, I could have guessed all the money I have in the world that these guys would be located in Shenzhen, and they are. So it's like that. Like everyone is located in Shenzhen, you know? So everyone's a Chinese company. Doesn't mean you can't use it anywhere else in the world, except for iFlyTech. Uh, a couple more questions here, and then we're going to wrap up because we're just talking about whatever. So we're pretty much done. Thank you for the info on Hisense. I'll be looking for eating phone because my eyes are trashed from working a tech job. Oh, don't I know it. Uh, it looks like that'll do the trick from a video. It, it should. It should, yeah. E-paper, you know what e-paper is really good for? Even if you don't use it as a primary, it's just to rest your eyes. So like, if you have a, even if you have a phone that you don't even use for the cellular part of it, that you can just have, for example, th two hours before you go to bed, instead of like this, with a blinding panel of LEDs shining in your face, laughing at people's IG stories, you can have an e-ink phone. And that's what I do. I honestly do that before I go to bed. I don't, I don't use a phone. I use my um, Hisense Touch. And uh, why I do that is because, again, instead of an LCD panel, I'm looking at paper. Paper I can move around with my fingertips. That's what it's for. Rebecca G, do APK downloaded programs update themselves? Do we have to manually update them somehow? Depends on the app. If it's like a Google-centric app, like google drive yeah you'll have to up you have to do a new update because google play is the only app market that will do that i think if you put like one mobile marketplace they might push updates i'm not sure on that but um you have to manually update them and that's true for literally every device in the e-reader world except for uh onyx and dasung i'm not sure if even MeBook uses Google Play, but I'm not sure they put they push upgrades, uh, updates like that. But anyways, we're done. Thank you guys for not asking a question about the big me, except for Rebecca G, I think, right? No, wait, no, Rebecca didn't even ask about the about about the big me. We got Taylor Atkinson asking about the big me. All you other guys are talking about other things. No, I'm just playing, man. These are this is fun. I I love talking to you guys. It's a very, um, it's a very nice, uh, break from the, uh, you know, daily grind of, um, being scripted, you know, when we do our videos and stuff like that, I can just go off the rails here and trash whoever I want. Yep. Yeah. So anyways, uh, yeah, thank you very much guys. Uh, I know I'm sorry, Ace, but we got to go. Cause I got, uh, I got, what do I got here? I got 199 from Gabe Arroyo. I got to go buy a donair with, it's not even enough, Gabe. Keep it coming. I need my Donair fix for the day. No, I'm just joking. Uh, you guys are fantastic. Seriously, Rebecca, Duogo, Ace, Courtney, Steve, of course, Hattori Hanzo, uh, A13 Joe, Ola, JA, Gabe Arroyo, Branimir. Uh, you guys are fantastic. I've re really... Mu oh, Bob Dikama is here. Dang it. I missed him. Yeah, sorry, man. And my mom stopped by. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys are very, very nice. Great questions, great um, uh, collaborative conversation and everything. Oh, how heavy is the pen on the Big Me? You know what's funny? I don't have the Big Me pen. It's in the other room. So I use the Onyx pen. Thank you guys so much. We'll be here next week. And uh, actually next week, where's my calendar? Oh, it's over there. Um, oh, yeah, I can check one of the 1,000 devices near me. Uh, next week, I think next week or the next next week. Yeah, we will be doing a joint, uh, what do you call Um you uh, live with Michael and myself talking about what happened this month. A lot of stuff coming up. Thank you very much. You guys are fantastic. And so Mastro, have a good evening. Joke's on you. It's 10 a.m. here. Haha. -ha. You have a good evening. I'll have a good day. That's right. So I'm talking about Gabe to give me some donair money. Waiting here for the donations. I'm just kidding. You guys are great. Thank you very much. We'll be manning the um, chat for a little bit and the comments for a little bit. We have a contest right now for a me book. Uh, I, 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 I walked into work the other day and someone's like, we're doing a a, 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 a me book contest. I'm like, Oh my God. Okay. I gotta get ready. And you know, we just fired that off. So go over there, get a me book for free. You get a case, you get a pen. Thank you all. See you next time. Adios.